As you may recall, a blockchain is an ongoing record of transactions. Blockchains are usually public, but there are also private blockchains which exist. To show the difference, think of public blockchains as a public park. It's a public area and open to everyone. Anyone is free to have picnics, have their pets and children run free, or play ball in the park. Similarly, a public blockchain is free to access. The code can be viewable and editable by the community. Everyone is allowed to participate. The rules for the use of the park are in general consensus with the community who use it. On the other end, private blockchains are a little bit more like a private birthday party. The event was mostly organised by the birthday boy or girl themselves and might come with certain dress codes. You may even be asked to bring your own steak and expected to bring a gift. Similarly, a private blockchain is where a central authority has to give you access to the blockchain, like being invited to that private birthday party. It is maintained to very specific standards for specific interests and purposes. There are restrictions on who is allowed to participate. There are fewer decision makers, which makes party planning a lot simpler and efficient. Having the smaller and private group could make it easier to maintain and faster to clean up. Private and public blockchains use the same technology, but each for their own purposes. They come with their own sets of benefits. However, both our private and public blockchains can coexist.